Hello everyone, happy Friday. So, I have not vlogged hardly at all this week. I, honestly, I have been struggling mentally and emotionally. It's been a really bad week for my depression and anxiety. And I just have not really felt like doing a whole lot. So, it's been a very, very rough week. Um, I've been trying to work through it and get myself out of those kinds of moods. So I found that doing crafts or writing in my journal really has helped. Um, so I have done a lot of pin boards. I have made up some new pin boards for the shop and I am loving them. They are so stinking cute. Um, so I made up a whole bunch of them. I love this one. I think it's so cool. I got llamas, look at them. I love this material. And then this one reminded me of Audrey Rose. So I'm like, I have to get that. And I think it's beautiful. Let's see. And then I got more llamas with the, the yellow. I think the different colors stand out. I did this one with the pink, which I think it just stands out beautifully. And then I got sloths. Look at them. They're so stinking cute. And I did this one with the purple because it just brings out the purple in the material. And then I love this color. You can't really tell, but this is like um, a really like neon, like coral color almost. It's really pretty. And it just really goes with these llamas. It's just, oh, I love the llama material. And then I did a Marauder's Map one. I really like how this one turned out. Well, I really like how all of them turned out, let me be honest with you. And then I did this one, another sloth one. Oh, I just love this one, so cute. Um, and then, let's see. I did this little one for Harry Potter. I think I could be able to... I'll show you all the ones I made. Then I did each uh these little ones i did each one for the different houses because i had enough uh colored um little embroidery hoops that i could do that so i did gryffindor and there's slytherin ravenclaw i will admit though these ones were such a pain in the butt to try to get them like perfectly even and then i did hufflepuff so these ones were super pain in the butt but they're on there. They're not 100% centered because it was just so hard to get them to look center. But they look pretty good. I thought they were cute. Um, and then I did another little teeny Harry Potter one with the little glasses and the lightning bolt. I thought that one was super cute. I got more, guys. I This is how much I've been struggling this week. <laughs> I've done quite a lot of pin hoops. So I got these, this cat material, I thought it was super cute. Um, and it had like, I got these arrows, it reminded me of like uh, Hunger Games. I just thought they were cute. Here's another Harry Potter one. I love this material. Porks, ain't that adorable? I made one for myself and I made an extra one for the shop. I love porks, these are, this material is so stinking cute. So this reminds me of Mr. Kindly from Nevernight, although I've never actually read the book, but uh, I see Mr. Kindly stuff everywhere, and this just kind of, I just thought of that when I saw this material. So I think it's cute. And then I made a smaller one with the uh, galaxy print. I made a Doctor Who one. I love this one. I made another Doctor Who one with the x -Dominate. I love these like little oval hoops. I just think they're so stinking cute. So there's that one. I also made a buffalo check one, which I think is really cute. But then again, I think they're all really cute. And then I made this one with the kitty cats. It's got like this um, like mint greeny material. No, that's mine. Thank you. No, go get your own water. I made this one. It's got like the Deathly Hollow symbols. Harry Potter. <laughs> Another uh, Hunger Game inspired one. 
And then this one, I can't not get this one center at all because of the way material laid and the way it was cut. So this one, I'm probably just going to sell at a discount because it's kind of slightly imperfect and I didn't, I couldn't get it right and it was driving me crazy. So I'm like, screw it. So, so yeah, those are all the pin boards I made. I made quite a lot. A sip. My son. Thank you. Go play. It's a fine. Go play. So, so yeah, I have made quite a lot of pin hoops. I actually still have some like uh, embroidery hoops that I can make more, but I kind of had to do adult things. So, um, so yeah, I got that done. Oh, also finished a book. I finished Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. Um, this one was, of course, for the Massathon um, that me and Jenna from Jenna Reads Host. Um, so I finished this one, although I am way behind on, on actually finishing the other two. But um, I am, or I love this one. I thought it was really good. It, there was so much to it. There were so many different twists and turns. Thanks. Things that I have never seen come in, like, it was, uh, it was so good. I absolutely loved it. Give it five stars. Amazing. I can't wait, wait to see where the story goes. So, I actually just started today Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. This is, what, the sixth book in the Throne of Glass series? I think this one's number six. Honestly, I don't know. Um, so, I actually just started this one today. I am about 128 pages in, about chapter 10. Um, so, I'm just really getting into the story. And, I mean, so far it's, it's good, but um, it's just kind of like the beginning. Because this is actually following Kale um, instead of like Elena and stuff. Or Selena and the other characters that the series kind of mainly followed so this one goes in a completely different direction so I'm really interested to see to learn more about Kale and um, Irene's story I love Irene I think she's such a good character and I can't wait to read more about her story and Kale I really think he could grow from what he's been through so I'm really interested interested to see how he grows it as a character. I don't hate Kale. I don't like him. I think he is a complete asshat, but I don't hate him. I think he could definitely grow as a character. So I'm really interested to see where his character goes. Nezrin, on the other hand, I'm, I'm not sure about her. I mean, I like her character and stuff, but I don't really like know too much about her. To really decide how I feel about her yet so we'll see but um, yeah I'm excited to see where it goes so yeah I have to finish these because we was gonna do the live show this weekend but I just I have so much to do I just I don't have time to finish Tower Dawn and kingdom of ash into in one day i i don't i just don't have the time so we're gonna hold off if we can't do it next weekend we're gonna do it the week after so i'm gonna be listening to this book and uh kingdom of ash in the next within the next week to try to finish up to catch up for the masathon because technically we we're supposed to be reading akatar um this month, so I really want to try to read Akatar. Um, so, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. But, anyways, I think that's all I have. Oh my gosh, I think that's all I have for right now. I am super tired, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick update. Um, don't really think I have anything else to update you guys on. Hopefully in the next couple of days, I will get all the pin boards up onto my Etsy shop. Um, if they don't go up this weekend, they'll definitely go up next weekend. So we'll see how it goes. So anyways, I think that's all I have. I think I'm going to go and finish cleaning up the living room and then lay down.
down and rest because I'm tired. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm just rambling. So, I got nothing else. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. I just wanted to kind of get on here and open up this vlog, I believe, because I don't even know if I opened it up. It's been kind of a difficult week already. Um, if you can't tell, I am not feeling the greatest today. I have a sore throat and a stuffy nose and I have a major headache. Um, but I kind of wanted to hop on here and kind of let you know what's been going on the last couple of days. Um, if you see my Instagram post, you guys know I was struggling with my computer and yesterday all morning I spent on the phone talking to support. Um, so unfortunately I'm going to have to send my computer out to the, com the company, um, and have them have a technician look at it because it won't do anything. So, so yeah, so I was dealing with that and then. I had to get the shipping label and all that. I have to pack it up and I have to go to a FedEx store, but there's no FedEx store around here. So I had to go up to Dixon and it's been a rough couple of days. I think I'm just overly tired and just like, just wear myself out with, you know, trying to figure out my computer and stuff. I've just been kind of stressed out a little bit the last couple of days. So I'm thinking that's how I kind of got this sore throat and stuff. And it's been kind of cold here lately. It's been raining and stuff all day today. But um, yeah, so that's kind of what I was doing the last couple of days. Monday, I just, um, all I did all day was adult things. I don't even remember what I did on Monday, to be honest with you. Um, oh, I have a reading update for you. Where did I put my book? I dropped my book. Ah, here it is. Okay, so I have a reading update. I actually started A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, I think I started this actually Monday. Um, I need to read it for the Massathon, and even though I haven't finished the Throne of Glass series, I still wanted to pick this up and start reading it. This is my physical read, the Throne of Glass series. I'm finishing an audiobook. But I am about, let's see, 47 pages into it, chapter six. Um, so I'm really interested to see where my thoughts are after rereading it because I haven't read it. The last time I read this was in 2017. So it's been a while. It's been quite a few years. So I'm excited to see if I still love it as much as I did the first time around. I'm going to. Huh? I'm going to. You're fine. Go play. Go play. No, go play. Okay. It's been a struggle today. I'll be honest with you. Um... Anyways, oh, and then on Monday, I also had a dentist appointment, and I had um, some fill-ins, and my teeth have been so sore. They haven't been too bad. They've been manageable, but today, they've been a little sensitive, so, so yeah, I've been dealing with that, too. So, ooh, excuse me. So, it's been a rough couple of, of dates. But anyways, um... So, yeah, so that's currently what I'm reading. Well, I am listening to Tower of Dawn on audiobook, which is, I'm thinking, like, it's the sixth book, I think, in the series. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I, it's a little slow right now. I think as soon as it, it picks up a little bit more, I think it'll be fine. But right now, it's just kind of, like, getting into the story and, we're seeing Kale and Nezrin's kind of side of the story and um, how they reacted to everything that like took place in, what, what was that book, Empire of Storms. So I'm, I'm really interested in their story, but I'm also kind of a little bored with it, but hopefully it will pick up and it won't be too bad. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Kale and I never really hated him. I know some people absolutely hated his character. I never really, I don't really hate him. 
feel like he is I don't know he's got some different point of views and yeah he can be an ass but I feel like he has a lot of like he could grow as a character and so that's where I'm interested to see in Tower of Dawn how he grows as a character because I really think he will but I don't know so I don't hate him but we'll see how it goes so the more I listen to Tower of Dawn um, I think I have about 16 hours left in the audiobook. So I have quite a lot left, and then I gotta finish, um, what is it, Kingdom of Ash. So, to be all caught up with the Zone of Glass series. So I have quite a lot of listening to get to in the next couple of days. <laughs> but, oh gosh, guys, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. I just can't stop yawning. But anyways, I think that is all I really have to update you guys on. I think I've covered everything. Um, so I think I'm going to go now and probably sit and read before I have to put the kids to bed. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but anyways, I will check with you guys later. Bye. Hello everyone, happy Thursday. So I just wanted to kind of hop on here and give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, I actually, we just got back from Dickinson. Um, we had a chiropractor's appointment, but it has been dark, dreary, very gloomy today and raining all day. So I didn't listen to my audiobook. I just, with it being so gloomy and I'm, was kind of tired. It was kind of putting me to sleep. So I just decided to switch to music, keep myself awake. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I didn't listen to much of my audiobook, um, but I will eventually get to it. <laughs> um, I did stop at the thrift stores while I was up there. So I have a little bit of a thrift store haul that I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, yeah, I, I got some cute things. First thing is this adorable little candy corn, like display thing, decor, kind of rustic looking. I thought it was super cute. So I think I'm gonna put it on my bookshelf somewhere. So I got some clothes, Fox Racing. My husband loves Fox Racing and I like this shirt. It's like a really nice shirt and it's like never been worn. Like doesn't have the tag still on it but it hasn't been washed a lot I mean it's in very good shape um, and then I got this really cute little pink sweater just a little pullover sweater I thought it was adorable um, I got cute little plaid top I thought it was adorable got this cute sweater it's like yellow but it's got like brown on the arms and like the trim I just thought it was super cute be really cute with my bookish t-shirts um, and then I got this cute sweater another just pullover cardigan type sweater I thought it was super cute and then I got this one this is like a sweater but it has like this lace at the bottom I thought it was super cute and then I also, let me see if I can get it out of here. I found this really cool snow globe, but look, it's got, oh, I can't really see it. It's got a snowman, but it has a penguin and a little Christmas tree. And I love snow globes like this. I just think they're so much fun. And I saw it and I love penguins and I decided to get it. These snow globes are not cheap. So I was super excited to find it. Five dollars. That's how much I paid for it. And then I got this really cute flower cardigan sweater. Um, that'd be really cute for fall. And then I also picked up this adorable little bear with a little pumpkin. I thought this would be really cute on my shelf. It was 50 cents. I think this is a Boyd's bear. It reminds me of Boyd's bear. I don't know if it's an actual Boyd's bear. No, it's not a Boyd's bear. Cherished treasure. Ch cherished teddy bear? Te teddy? I don't know. But that's super cute. I thought it was adorable. 
And then I got some books while I was at that same thrift store. They had a bunch of Christmas books out already. So your girl went a little crazy. So the first one I picked up is Call Me Mr. Miracle by Debbie McComer. And this says it's a Hallmark original movie or Hallmark Channel original movie. So I actually um, love the Hallmark movies. So I got this one. I actually got two of these ones because I thought I'd send one to my mom. Um, I don't know if I actually watched this movie or not, but I picked them up. They were a dollar. So I got those. And then I got this one, Linda Morell Miller and Outlaw's Christmas. Um, it's a cowboy Christmas book and I have actually read books from her before and she is a little bit on the smutty side but when it comes to the hot sexy cowboys I'm okay with that <laughs> you, everybody needs a little smut every every now and then and this one I cannot wait for so I did also get this one by the same author and this is Christmas in Mustang Creek it's another cowboy Christmas book and I honestly I cannot wait to read these so I'm gonna save them for Christmas time and read them oh, and, older. and then the last one I picked up is a Karen's Kingsbury book and it's called the bridge and I believe there is actually a Hallmark movie based off of this and my mom has it and she was so excited to get it but I saw another copy so I decided to pick it up because it was 49 cents so then went to another thrift store. There's two thrift stores up in Dixon. So I found some cute material I think would be cute for a pin board. And then I found this cute little pumpkin. I thought it was adorable. It was $2. I thought it was adorable. So then the rest of the stuff I found is all books. So found quite a few books there. Ooh. So the first one I found, oh, what did I have? I found On the Fence by Casey West. I didn't know if I actually had this one, but it looks like I do actually have this one. So I'll see if Becca wants it. If not, I'll just take it to a clothes closet, I guess. And then I found a copy of Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I read this book a long time ago and I really loved it. And this isn't the greatest copy. It's actually rather beat up, but I saw it and I thought, well, I get it. And I, I would like to read like the old dystopians that really got me into reading. So this was one of them. It was a dollar. I don't know. I just decided to get it. Then I found Rogue by Julie Kagawa. I think this is actually the second one in the Talon saga. And I know this has something to do with dragons. And I just saw it and I thought it was beautiful. And I may have to give this one a go. So I'm gonna have to get the first one, which is Talon, I believe. Then I found for some reason, I have been really interested in more adult romances. I do not know why, but I have been really wanting to get some more. So this one is by Ellen Hub, Hub, I don't even know how to say that name. Um, this is called The Blue Bistro, and it's kind of, uh, sounds like an interesting, like a girl, you know, moves away, goes home for the summer, you know, falls in love with somebody, and. It sounds like it's gonna be super cute. So then I got this one, Thursdays in the Park by Hillary Boyd. Look how it just is like screaming autumn to me, and it's like it seems like the perfect time of year. It says one Thursday in autumn, uh, Jean, uh, Jenny meets Ray in the park, and a chance meeting blossoms into a friendship. They talk, laugh, share hopes and secrets and heartbreaks. They offer each other a second chance at life and love, but will they have the courage to take it? It sounds like it's gonna be super cute. And I just love the cover. The cover drew me in. I was like, I just love this cover. It's so pretty. It was a dollar, so I got it. So yeah. So. That was everything that I got at the thrift stores. So I think 
I don't really have anything else to really update you guys on, so I think I'm gonna go and put this stuff away. I got, I want to put my new clothes in the in the wash, and then I need to go clean up my room. So that's my plan. So I'm gonna go, and I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. So, I am by myself right now. Um, my kids went out to grandma's. We have book club today. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, it's really quiet in here. Um, I've, I have to run into town to the grocery store because I ran out of butter. And I need to finish up a few things. Um, and I got some bookish mail yesterday, which I didn't share with you guys. I got... The Layered Candle of the Month, which was Crestworth Invest Investigations, which is from the Stock and Jack the Ripper series. Sorry, my glare from my window. Um, so, I got this, and they have each layer is inspired by the different books. So, you have Stock and Jack the Ripper, Hunt and Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini, and then the last one, which is Capture and the Devil. And they're each a different scent. And then they have a little quote on the back that says, There's nothing better than a little danger dashed with some romance. <laughs> I love that quote. So, oh, my glare. So, that's the back. So, yeah, I got that yesterday. And then I got a little tea light free sample, which is Wildberry Bliss. It smells very fruity. I actually like that. So, that was my bookish mail from yesterday. And then yesterday, I also uh, filmed a Bake With Me video. I actually combined last month's uh, Bake With Me video and this month. So, because I'm already like three behind, which I have the footage for, let's see, that would be July's box. I have the footage for that, um, that Bake With Me video. I just haven't finished editing it. I was working on it, but I just never actually finished edit, editing it, so I need to do that. Um, hopefully, I'll get that one up before I get the other two up. So, this time, I just combined the August's box and September's box, so then hopefully next month, I should be right on schedule and back in the groove of things. So, so yeah, that's my plan, hopefully. If it all works out. <laughs> um, but anyways, I don't really think there was anything else that I needed to update you guys on. I, oh, I do a little read and update. So, let's see. I have about, I think I have about like 10 hours left in the audiobook for uh, uh, Tower of Dawn. I was like, what is the name of that book? Tower of Dawn. So, I have quite a bit left of that. And then, as far as A Court of Thorns, is your, uh, uh, Court of Thorns goes, I'm on page 57. So, I'm not that far into this one, neither. Um, but I have time to finish this one, so that's not a big deal. But, yeah, I still have to finish up the last two books of Throne of Glass before the live show. I'm not sure exactly when we're going to be doing the live show yet. I don't know. I'm thinking next week or the week after. So I have quite a bit to work on. So, so yeah. So, as far as my plan goes today, before book club, I need to... I have some pumpkin and some rhubarb thawed. So I need to bake them up so they don't go bad. So, I'm going to probably finish. I'm going to make a pumpkin bread for my husband because he loves pumpkin bread. And then I think I'll probably either make a rhubarb crisp or a rhubarb pie. I haven't decided which one yet. So, so yeah, that is my plan for today. And then we have book club, which I have not even read the book. I need to think of three books that I want to read for book club because we, each person gets to pick three books and then we put them in a hat and then we draw them. So, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. 
So, oh gosh. So I think I'm gonna go and run to the grocery store real quick and get myself some butter. Cause I'm out of butter. Uh, that's weird. I'm, I'm just being weird. Anyways, um, so I think I'm gonna go and I will probably check with you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, Becca does the funniest trick with my dog. Tank, dozer. <laughs> Wait until you see this. and look for the person that was here, but nobody's here. Who's, Who's here, here Tank? Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? <laughs> Big horse. Well, so much for the trick. It stopped working after the second time around. Say hi. Bonjour. Who's here? Hopefully, uh, Lisa's coming soon yeah, for book club. So. so, I suppose. Bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. So, I just want to close out this vlog because I didn't do it yesterday. Um, <clears throat> after I checked in yesterday, we had book club, which was always nice. And I figured I would show you what our book club pick is, which is... <clears throat> Truth Bit Witch by Susan Denard. I think that's how you say the name. Um, I'm actually really excited about reading this one. I thought it was perfect, like, autumn read because it has witches in it. I don't know. I was just excited that it got chosen. Um, so that was our book club pick. And then after book club, me and Becca went cruising in the Camaro, um, which I may have named my Camaro Billy after Billy from Stranger Things. So, yeah, I may have done that. <laughs> but anyways, that is really all that I have to mention right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Uh, hit me up in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. I see you always. <sighs> hey, bye. Bye.